tens of thousands come from all around the state, the country, and even the world to strap on their helmets and hit the Griffin Bike Park Trail. We've had people from Alaska. We've had people from Canada. We had a couple that came from uh, New Zealand. But before it became a top destination, it was only an idea. Gene and Donna Griffin lost their son Dale in Afghanistan in 2009 and wanted to find a way to keep his memory alive. Well, our kids were asking, they were saying, what do you think we could do to help remember Dale in this area? And that's when the idea of a bike was really bike trails. Do you think we could build some bike trails in Terre Haute? That seemingly small concept grew into 300 acres of hills, twists, and lots of jumps covering 18 miles of tracks and trails. And it's for bikers of all ages and skill sets. And we have kids all the way from little bitty ones on Strider bikes all the way up to my age. People come just to jump. They come just to go on the pump tracks. They come to do the short track races now that are like, you know, three quarters of a mile. The park also remembers fallen Hoosier heroes along the popular Warrior Trail. On each side, you'll find their names and photos leading to a memorial for Dale Griffin. They're being remembered not just by their friends and family, but by all those that come. We like to memorialize all the soldiers that we've lost since 9-11. That's what our park's about. The Warrior Trail was first inspired by a young girl in a wheelchair. We decided to build a trail that she could ride, so we built one with adaptive equipment in mind. Um, it's a little wider, took out all the roots and all the, the real nasty humps, and uh, we made something that even wounded warriors with hand bikes can ride and the park won't be hitting the brakes just yet. More hopes it will continue to grow, giving visitors more than they could imagine. I like it when they're surprised at what they find. Cause you know, as you drive in, there's cornfields everywhere. But when you get here, we go from beginner level trails that they would expect to when you get on the east side of the park, it's, it's gnarly over there.